Hello, Brentwood Bears. We are here to get ready to paint. So before we get started, let's remember our expectations. Aim for your best, aim to, aim to make good choices, respectful, trust in yourself, and safe distancing. And we're really gonna focus on these top two to aim to make good choices and respecting the materials and the room, which is how we're gonna start today. So, okay, let's get ready. Follow that one-way traffic. What do we need first? Let's get some cardboard so that it can hold our water and our paint. Ooh, one-way traffic. Put them centered in, at the table. All right, let's get some placemats. They are in this wire container behind the buckets. And figure out how many people are at your table today. That's how many placemats you'll need. Take the ones from the top. Don't go digging. They are supposed to be dirty, so please don't worry about what kind you get. Place the placemats in front of every stool, depending on how many kids are there. Yeah, don't worry if they're messy. Okay, now we need some paintbrushes. One-way traffic, please. Second floor are the smaller brushes. The top floor are the larger brushes. You just need one of each container. Place them in the middle. All right, now we need water. Are there four people at your table? You'll need two waters, so ask a, another friend to help at your table. If there are one or two or three people, you only need one. Okay, fill up that water halfway. You do not need to touch SpongeBob. Just fill that empty spot halfway with water. All right, put it on the cardboard. If you have four people, you'll need another water. But let's say we're ready for our paint. All right, if you're using liquid watercolors, take off that piece of paper. Keeps the water from evaporating. Walk it over. So this is what it should look like if we have four students present and if they're using liquid watercolors. Notice how these two students can easily access the paint in the water. And notice how these two students could easily access the paint in the water. There's only one more thing we need. Don't forget to follow one-way traffic. Please grab a towel so that if you have any spills, you can clean them up. Spills will happen, it's okay. Now for my younger students right now who are using um, tempera cakes, these are the tempera cakes, you'll uncover them. And they are solid, they're called cakes, but no, you can't eat them, sorry. Now this table setup, I'm at the yellow table right now, and this table setup is for three students. Three students do not need two paints and two waters. Three students will only need one because everyone can nicely reach the water and the paint. So um, also when it comes to getting the paper, you'll have to check your cart. So maybe Mrs. Novak will have um, paper. Now this is really nice masterpiece paper or a really nice small masterpiece paper, or maybe Mrs. Novak will pass out your painting paper for you. You'll just have to listen to directions. All right, this is our setup for four students. This is a setup for three students. Of course, depending on what paint you're using. Um, okay. All right, Brentwood Bears, we are ready to paint. So just a few reminders. Don't forget where to hold your paintbrush on the grip. Do not touch the danger zone, which is that metal part. So I picked the right brush for the job. And first thing I do is I wash my brush. And when I wash my brush, don't be afraid to press. This is the one time that you don't have to use tippy toes. Wipe on SpongeBob, get your brush looking really nice. I'm gonna go in for the green. Don't need too much. And then don't be afraid to paint on your placemat. That's what it's there for. See that? That's instead of going on the table. Now, if you have a big puddle, that probably means you just need to brush some of that liquid away. 
get that get those puddles out of there because puddles when they dry equal curly paper so when i want a new color don't forget wash your brush really well press 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 wipe on spongebob then it's safe to get a new color if you're using temper cakes same thing i've washed my brush wipe on spongebob i'm gonna go into my temper cakes using a swirly motion that allows a lot of paint to get on your brush it does activate with water so you need to have some water on your brush don't wipe your brush too dry and then you can test it out on your placemat first so feel free to do that and then go ahead and paint away if you notice it's really scratchy and the paint's not coming out get a little bit more water on your brush water is your friend if you want it a little watery but if you notice a puddle you probably need to dry off your brush a little bit. You can use the towel or you can use SpongeBob. Clear out any of those puddles. Now let's say I wanna go in there with orange. Should I just go in? No, because you'll get contamination. Don't forget to wash your brush first. Get press, 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 press. Wipe on SpongeBob. Now we're ready. Now there's no contamination. Woohoo! I am ready. Try it out on your placemat first. Ooh, that looks nice. Maybe this Brentwood Bear wants Chicago Bear colors on his or her scarf. All right. So there you have it. Making sure we keep our paints free from contamination. Always wash your brush by pressing. Let's talk about how to paint. We paint with tippy toes. So you have just those tippy toes touching your paper. I'm gonna get a really cheap paintbrush over here and I'm gonna show you what not to do. So I'm gonna go in, this is a cheap paintbrush, you can tell, see how it doesn't work very nicely. Now, if you go like this, and press those bristles all the way down. This is not on your tippy toes. So we wanna make sure to protect our brushes and only painting on our tippy toes. And we have our brushes straight up. We don't wanna paint like this. No, that's not gonna work. Then it's gonna get all scratchy. You wanna stay on those tippy toes. All right, boys and girls. It's cleanup time. Here. Up, oh, but that bell rings. Ring a ding a ding a ding. All right, right away, I'm going to wash my brush. This is the only time that it's okay to press all the way down. Notice I'm not swishing, I'm pressing. Wipe on SpongeBob. You can also wipe it on the towel too if you want, if SpongeBob's a little too wet. Brushes are hair up in the cup, all of them. The large brushes go in the large container, the small brushes go in the small one. So, um, if I have a wet project, I am going to take it and following one-way traffic, I want to make my way to the, to the drying rack. And the drying rack, we load from the bottom to the top. So there's my bear on the drying rack, and guess what? I already signed it, so I know whose it is, but if you look on the bottom, it says my name and my group number, which I wrote in crayon. So I'll put that in there, and Mrs. Novak will put it away when it's dry. Okay, let's get cleaned up. Hold SpongeBob just with one finger so he doesn't fall in the bucket. Put the water well into the bucket and then dump it, alternating. Okay, let's put our paints away, cover it with paper, or if you're using temper cakes, cover it with the cardboard. Okay, let's get our paint brushes, the big ones on top, the small ones on the second floor, put our towels and cardboards away, and then put all the placemats away. One thing I forgot to mention, if you're doing a very small painting um, and you wanna put it on the drying rack because we're not finished, so your name is of course on the back, 
you can carry it with the placemat and bring it over to the drying rack so it doesn't fall through. If I tried to put this in, it would probably fall right through onto someone else's wet painting. So we do not want that to happen. So instead, put it right on the placemat and slide the placemat onto the drying rack, just like that. And then everything stays nice and separated and it won't fall through. And I'm ready to be called to be lined up. Notice the table has nothing on it. Everything was put away. If I use crayons, they're back on my cart. And I will sit in my stool until I am asked to be lined up. And I'm probably going to wait quietly so that my table can be called. Thanks.